Hey guys, so we're here in Miami, Florida. It's a little bit humid. It's perfect for the fight conditions. So not too hot, not too cold. And it's just the air's dry enough to where you can really move around and stick some punches. And where I'm going at with this whole thing is behind me is the setup for YouTube versus TikTok. It's the battle of the platforms. So how this goes down, there's going to be a total of eight fights scheduled. That could be seven. That's going to go down. Now, each round is going to consist of two minutes with a minute break. So if you're going the whole distance, that's a 10 minute round or a 10 minute fight. Now, this is for everyone on this card. I don't know. Almost, every, almost everybody in this card. This is their actual first fight inside of a boxing ring. Now, I'm not talking about sparring, but actual fight, whether it's amateur or pro. That's nor here nor there. If you put your name on that bottom line, you sign your name and you get in a ring, I give you, I got mad, mad props for you. I give you a lot because it's easier said than done. Now, most everybody that's going to show up in this arena tonight has not fought. Now, I've got some people in my ear saying, oh, they're, they're bagging on this whole thing. But as they're looking at it from, like, say, a professional boxing um, viewpoint, but I'm looking at it as... Okay, so a lot of these people, the majority of everybody that's showing up tonight has a favorite YouTuber or TikTok or most all these, these guys on, on here have multiple. So they're, they're just not like one single YouTube or one single TikTok. They got both, uh, they got both platforms uh, covered. But in and of itself, say that was cool, one of your favorite, like that's why celebrity boxing does so well. Okay, somebody you've seen on TV or now with the new generation, it is social media, okay? So if you can see that person go out there and fight somebody else, whether you know them or not, but put hands on somebody i would go pay to see that like i'm really excited to be here there's some guys i don't know everybody on this card personally or know who they are but the ones i do i'm down to watch fight so i'm going to go over some of the card today who's fighting who and what possibly the outcome could be in my opinion because now you get a a fighter's view a coach's view and a fan's view of this whole thing so this is really good they've got some big stars here they've got dj collins uh performing amigos uh there's there's a lot of people here and there's more musicians and I'll, as the fight as the event goes on i'll kick more down who's here so i just ran into Khaled's uh handler if you will and uh, he's excited to even be here as far as that goes so there's the ring behind me i'm going to show you some close-ups of that but we're going to break down some of the fights the bigger fights right now and uh if you have questions if you have comments if you have stories or let me know who you think is actually going to win some of these matches i'm throwing down okay so let's pick up on this so for right now if you didn't know now you know of this whole extravaganza behind me is between Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall okay so Austin has like 19 million subscribers on YouTube and Bryce has like 19.9 I believe on TikTok now that could have gone up probably since they announced his fight or it's getting closer to the fight for both of those gentlemen they both made weight uh, both respectful one another uh, there was some trash talking going on but that's to be expected especially with this crowd okay they did both come in on prospective weights but austin was definitely a little bit bigger and bryce looked a little bit more in shape so this ring behind me is a 20 foot ring it's not the smallest and it's definitely not the biggest so if you have good cardio good condition and you can really use that jab this is the ring you probably want to use because you can keep them outside keep moving keep moving it's going to be difficult for the gentleman that doesn't have the best win trying to pressure you into the into the ropes or into the corner okay so that, that'll be, be a big part of this to see whose condition out of all this is up to speed now like i said earlier these rounds are two minutes of five rounds so that's 10 whole minutes you have to uh fight or you get to you don't have to you get to fight now one thing that's going to be a big factor in this whole thing is this arena is huge okay so i know guys that have fought like 10 15 years and still not uh, fought in an arena this big so the nerves the energy definitely pulls from your condition so we'll see who's going to be able to, to flex on that and, and pull that up so on that fight that's going to be one of the that's for sure why everybody's here but here's one thing every single fight on this card is a main draw okay you could just pull one of them out and put it on pay-per-view or social media or whatever and it would sell okay every single fight down the line so with these two gentlemen i'm leaning towards four seconds three two co2 on the ramp that's my oh. man i'm leaning a little bit towards the bigger opponent okay if bryce came in in shape then he's going to take it now 
if Austin came in shape, I believe he's going to take it because, if, like, he's been putting in his work, and from what I hear, he's been training with Holyfield. So he's got some skills with him right now. So skills and condition, that plays a huge part of it. Now, if Bryce can really push the push the fight and create angles and move and do the dang thing, then it's his game. So that's how that one's going to play out. So the main fight of the night, Austin versus Bryce. Now, who you got on that one, put it in the comments below. Now, Gibb versus Holder. Now, that, to me right now, from the outside looking in as a coach, could possibly be the best fight of the night. Now, Gibb took a loss uh, from Paul a while ago, so he's got redemption on his side. And redemption's a fucking something to deal with. Now, Holder, I seen that kid in the back, and I've talked to his coach. Uh, he's definitely been putting his work in. He, for sure, wants this. Both these have skills, different ones. Uh, one is more of a setup, like a, like say a Floyd, you know, back foot heavy kind of guy. He wants you to throw something so he can bait you with it and set it up. And I believe Holder is probably going to push the fight a little bit. His condition looks up to speed. Uh, Holder comes from the TikTok crew and uh, Gibbs coming from the YouTube side. So that one to me is uh, kind of a little bit up in the air. But that's going to, to my looking outside in from right now before the event starts, that's going to be the fight you want to not miss. Now the third fight I want to touch on that... I'm kind of excited about. I'm excited about all these fights because they're actually pretty good guys. Um, Digi versus Hacker. Now, Digi already took a L from Paul, and I guess he's had some problems prior with training camps not taking it too serious. And Hacker came in looking like a beast. He's ready to get after it. So from behind the scenes, and then what? What's usually a good uh, scenario, a good tale of the tape, which you can count on, is at Wands or the first time you see somebody without their shirt on. Did they train? Did they didn't train? How's their physical appearance? Okay. And Digi didn't look like he's in too great a shape, but it, look, it didn't look like he really put the effort in as well as Hacker. Hacker looks like he's about it. His mental game, that's one thing. If you come in good condition, if you come ready to fight, your mental game's like on point. Okay. If you didn't, you're kind of like soft and wishy-washy and not exactly sure. So that's a big indication on how this fight's probably going to pan out. And if I had to put money on it, which I might, I would for sure go on hacker so that's just one thing i don't know i'm not not everybody obviously is bred or born or built to fight not even i'm talking not statue okay you can be a small guy and still be a bad man you don't necessarily have to be a big guy to be bad and boxing and fighting it's not a big man sport anyway but if i had to put my cash on that one hacker's got it now this next fight's a little bit of a a head scratcher for me because it's between two musicians both very popular as far as that goes so they, they're definitely fan favorites but ddg had the first uh round of words coming out of his mouth saying he's going to knock out wyatt so any if you had to go here nor there or pick a side i'd have to kind of lean towards that because he's already pushing for the fight he's going to he wants to make it happen he obviously wants to knock him out so if you're going to go on just outside looking outside um i'd have to put my money on ddg so on that one if you have a story or if you have comments or let me know what you think about any of these fights but that fight specifically because that's i'm not too sure about that one so keep me in the in the loop on that one but that's what we're going to go for on that i'm going to lean a little bit more towards ddg now the reason i'm excited about this next fight is because if you're versed in the sport of boxing or combat sports but specifically boxing Footwork is key, is numero uno, is priority. Now, for example, if you look at a guy like Floyd, who can do that Philly shell and keep that lead hand down and really never get punched in the face, okay? And the reason, one of the main reasons with that is because of his footwork and his head movement. But footwork in the fight game is key, okay? Now, Lee comes from a dancing background, so this guy's got phenomenal moves. He can do some really cool things. Um, that most all of us, 98% of us can't do. So I'm very interested to see what, how he can put that together and throw some hands and not get punched in the face. So to me, that's one of the fights I definitely want to see. I couldn't put money on it, but if I did, I'm for sure going to go on the dancer because he dances a lot too. So his cardio is already halfway decent. And then if he's already training correctly, he's good to go. And his coach seems pretty confident with him as well. So that's a fight I'm going to make sure I'm ringside for. So if you have to put your money on that one, I'm going on Lee. Now this is somewhat of a buzz kill. The next fight I'm talking about, um, Tanner Fox and uh, Ryland Storms. So Storms, uh, unfortunately, isn't gonna be able to compete tonight because his opponent backed out. Now I can't put too much pressure and talk any amount of trash on Fox 
because it sounds good even when you're signing the contract that you're gonna get paid all this money, you're gonna go lump this guy up because that's one thing most all guys think they can fight, okay? Stand in front of the mirror, throw punches, or they get a boxing coach and then they're throwing, not even a coach, an instructor or whatever you wanna call me, he's hitting mitts. And from there, um, they obviously think they can box or they can fight, but, or even in front of a heavy bag. Here's the deal. You stand in front of somebody and throw punches those punches are gonna come back at you. So for work, first thing, until you get versed in it, getting punched in the face is really not the coolest thing ever. And you just kind of get used to it. Or you get better at not getting punched. So at least I give him credit for pulling out of the fight. He did it a little, he did it, he pulled out last minute. So now Storms doesn't get to fight. So he came ready to go, um, had the same attitude when he got here as to when they told him that uh, he could no longer compete because his opponent backed up. So with that one, um, he's not really shooting his mouth. Hopefully they give him the mic tonight and let him, you know, say a couple words to his fans because he's a good kid. So that fight's snicked off the, off the uh, fight card. I'm stepping out of sequence a little bit here how the fight card goes. So when you have, because I've been a fight promoter, I've owned fight organizations, and you always want to start your event with one or two really good fights and end the card with one or two really good fights because that's what the crowd's going to remember, especially if it's on TV. So... Uh, Ryan versus Kale. Okay, now that fight, Kale definitely came to fight. So did Ryan really came to fight. I'm interested to see, Kale seems pretty fired up about this, but also so does Ryan. Now that's one of those that's like 50-50 for me. I really can't put um, put anything on it. One of the two looks like uh, he could have gotten a little bit better shape just by from the outside looking in condition-wise. So we'll see how that one pounds out. But that is actually the first fight of the night tonight and that's going to be lucky for you it's uh they're not going to charge you for that one so before pay-per-view comes on that's going to be uh like i said the first fight coming on tonight it'll be an exciting fight um and once again people talking trash on social media or these guys boxing they're not pro boxers okay they're just out here they're, they're you know uh social media these guys are famous okay all these guys on here each one of these fights could be a main main draw because there's so many people that like them so if they don't come out and to your expectations of slipping and rolling and all that kind of good stuff like you would see at Mayweather, don't knock them. I mean, it takes, it's huge to come in front of all these people and be able to, to try something that you've never done, let alone in this magnitude. So that's going to be a good fight and give those guys a good hand. And uh, I'm not sure who I'm betting on on that one. It's no accident I saved this last fight as the best fight. It's fight number two on the fight card, but that's Ben Azerlet. Okay, Ben's been with us training for this fight against Lana McBroom. That's Austin's little brother. Now, Lannan's a beast. Don't get me wrong, okay? But our boy, we've really put through the ringer on this one. I can pretty much guarantee that no one has sparred more top professionals and put more work in more hours of the day than this kid here. So this is going to be a very exciting fight to watch because I know Lannan's been training and he wants it, okay? But our boy Ben has really put the effort in. I, I can almost guarantee, I mean, you never know what everybody else is doing, but we ran a whole camp on this kid. Not the, the exact duration that I would like to have, but he's put the time in, he's put the pain in, he's put the effort in, he's put the hours in, like all that kind of stuff. So, and he's never given me one complaint, nor anything about pain, nor hours, or anything like that. He's always put his best, best foot forward. Even, I mean, I brought some monsters in, this, in for this poor kid to train with spar with and he just went with it you know so put his gloves on wrapped up and, and that was that so he's fight number two on the card and it holds a lot in my heart to for this kid to do this because it takes all these guys on this card right now have really put their best foot forward and it takes a lot of guts to get in that ring okay so anybody watching this who says they can do this or you know saying anything negative about how maybe they're not pro status yet i mean this is a huge endeavor for these guys in front of a lot of people so give them a lot of credit now if you have any stories if you have any questions because this is going out today hopefully before we can get done before the fight actually starts so uh, i can hit some of these guys up with questions but i appreciate your time and over i hope everybody enjoys the fight i will put a link in the description here to where you can order the fight and if you got questions hit me up but for right now if you didn't know now you know so which video do you want to watch you want to watch that video you want to watch that video you know that one's really good but on the other hand that one helps the video that you just saw